you'll be driving this Stania Class 8F steam locomotive. When you're ready, climb onto the footplate. Sit in the driver's position. Start by preparing the locomotive for departure. The reverser determines the direction of travel and how much steam is consumed as the locomotive moves. Set the reverser to full forward position. You will need all available power when setting off. This locomotive has a combination brake that controls both steam and vacuum brakes. Steam brakes will apply on just the locomotive. Vacuum brakes will apply to the rest of the train so long as it is equipped with vacuum brakes. The brakes are released when a vacuum is created. The driver can use the brake handle to destroy the vacuum which will start to apply the brakes. To create a vacuum, you should use the ejectors. The small ejector should be left open when the train is running. The large ejector can be used to more quickly increase the vacuum after coupling or heavy braking. When the locomotive has been left standing, you'll want to open the cylinder cocks or remove any water. Water in the cylinders can damage the locomotive as it doesn't compress like steam. Move the combination brake to the release position and then use the large ejector as needed to get the brakes released. On an uphill start, you may want to apply a little power with the regulator first to prevent rollback. Don't forget to put the large ejector back to off when the brakes are off. The regulator acts like the throttle control for steam locomotives. It controls how much steam is delivered into the cylinders. Applying too much power too early can cause wheel slope, so increase it slowly. After a few wheel rotations, the cylinders should have been blown clear by the steam jetting out of them, so you can close the cylinder cocks to get full power in the cylinders and prevent further steam. uses that steam to power the pistons and manage the power you get from the locomotive. As you accelerate, you'll want to gradually pull the reverser back towards the middle, usually no less than 15%, in order to make the most efficient use of steam and get the most out of the locomotive. 
practice and experience will show you how much to adjust the various controls by. The way you manage the controls will vary depending on the type of steam locomotive and the weight of the train behind it, but the fundamental process of what each control does is the same. Use the combination brake to apply some. That concludes this module. If you wish to replay it, you can come back at any time via the training center. In this training module, you'll be learning basic passenger operations in a Stanninger 8F steam locomotive. When you're ready, set up the locomotive for driving. When a vacuum is created, this will release the brakes. The driver can use the brake handle to destroy the vacuum, which will start to apply the brakes. To create a vacuum, you should use the ejectors. This locomotive has been left standing, so you'll need to open the cylinder cocks to remove any water. Slowly open the regulator to apply some power. Power delivery is delayed in a steam locomotive, and applying too much power too early can cause wheel slip. Starting to pick up speed. Move the reverser to forwards 25%. This reduces the amount of steam let into the cylinders and saves energy.
Great work. To allow passengers to board, you'll need to open the doors. Keep the doors open to allow enough time for passengers to board the train. Now the passengers have boarded the train, close the doors. Now let's go to the next stop. Once the wheels have rotated a few times with the cylinder cocks open, you should close them to preserve steam.
Good work. This time, open the doors on the opposite side. Close the doors. That concludes this module. If you wish to replay it, you can come back to it at any time via the training center. In this training module, you will learn how to refill the Stonia Aterf locomotive with water and coal. In this steam locomotive, the water and coal needed for operation are stored behind the cab in what's known as a tender. Firstly, you'll need to prepare the locomotive to receive water. Now the hose is in position, climb up the tender and open the water hatch. Insert the hose into the tender. Great! The hose is in and the tender tank is ready to be filled. Climb down the ladder and turn on the water to start filling the tender tank. The tender tank is now full. Turn off the water and bring the hose back to the water crane before closing the water hatch. Okay, now you need to fill the tender with coal. Move the train so that the tender is underneath the coal tower. As soon as your tender is suitably positioned, it will automatically begin refilling. got this locomotive fully fueled and ready for service. Great work. That concludes this module. If you wish to replay it, you can come back to it at any time via the training center.